Hey guys, Mr. Anderson here. Today, I'm going to be showing you the best way to rack up RP really fast in this game. I know some of you have seen videos of people doing that thing where like they jump off a ramp and basically like you respawn and then you're like back to back where you last were. But obviously, yeah, that is a great way to make RP, but I think this way is way better. I'm just saying. Like literally, like this way will get you leveled up really, really quickly. So. Yeah, I'm going to show you. So basically, first what you need to do, you need to get the car that you need for this. Because this is probably my all-time favourite car to do it with. Obviously, they're not the car I'm driving right now. But I'll show you. Um, so when you first start, when you, if you're like a new player, when you like first start this game and you're just new to the game, this is like, this is best for you. Anyone who's like in the middle of like leveling up, like you feel around like level 32, then yeah, still do it. If you want to get to level 50 very quickly, if you just want to ruin your campaign, that's absolutely fine. But basically, all you had to do basically, you just had to keep scrolling until you get to this one. Yo, is it this one? No, I remember the price of it. I think, wait, where is it? I'm trying to find it. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, this one. So the Mazda RX7 Spirits R02. So basically, you get this car, and once you get this car, you just back out. Just you buy it once you buy it, just back out. I recommend you using it because you are going to be doing it. And basically, this is not going to be a, a jump, a long jump uh, thing. It's going to be a drift run we're going to do. And the good thing about this one is once you buy the car, you don't have to upgrade it because the car's good without the upgrades because the car can drift well without the upgrades with that car you just brought. So basically, all you need to do is head down here to freaking, what is this place called? I haven't played this game in ages. Downtown Palm City. So this drift here, this drift zone here, this one right here. So if you need 15,000 to get three stars, and that's actually quite easy. So I'll show you. So I just need to quickly change into that car. So be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Um, just to let you know, you need to at least be level 11 to unlock drift runs, I think. Drift zones. So yeah, when you do first start the game, you kind of need just to play legitly for a bit. Unless you just want to play legitly for the whole game, that's absolutely fine. But if you want to cheat it, then this is the best way. So basically, uh, before you do it, you need to be a knight because knight you earn rep, in day you earn bank. Yeah, this is actually another great way to um, uh, bank what's money in this game if you do this as well. But we're gonna we're gonna show you how to do. It. You show you how to level up really easily in this game. So yeah. Let's do this shit. Alright, so basically all you had to do basically, this is literally not upgraded by the way, just let you know. I think. Uh, so basically you just had to like, just go through. And look, the car is really good without the upgrades anyway. Oh, I think this has a bit of upgrades to it actually, because it doesn't feel this drift. It feels really drifty. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so, oh god. So basically what you have to do basically, you just have to drift through this zone and yeah. It's actually really easy to get to the first star. I like really. Look at that. I know this, I know it might not look good at first, but once you get the multipliers going, you are going to be earning so much rep. Honestly. Literally, like, when I was playing on my other account in this game, I was, like, level 11, and then I re managed to reach up to, like, level 35 in one night. And how many cars I unlocked as soon as I got back in the garage. It was just showcasing me all the cars I unlocked. It was so fucking cool. I loved it. So basically, that's all you have to do all the time. And if a cop does spot you, then go down this road here. Yeah, so all you have to do is just go down this road. Right down here. You just go straight. Like, right now, if the cops are on you, they'll probably be chasing you because your car's not fast enough to get away from them. But that's absolutely fine. Just go down here. Go through here. The reason why I'm telling you to go this way is because, for some reason, the cops in this game are allergic to water. So, basically, if they go over a ramp and there's, like, water in the middle, they'll just, like, flip out and just instantly get destroyed. And then, at this point, you should start losing them. And then you just have to just drive back to the drift zone and then, boom, you've done it. You've done the rep method. I don't really count as a glitch because they did it because the people did implement the... The thing where you can constantly just um, rap from doing this PR stunts all the time. So I don't think it counts as a glitch. It's just a method. But it's like a farming method. But anyways, once you're done that, you just go back to the garage and then you just save progress. Alright, so yeah, that's it. Yeah, I know, right?
<laughs> here are. Well, that's better than nothing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so one, one more thing I'm going to be showing you is... Um, the racers on the street don't even remember what we've done for the city. Shut the fuck up. I don't give a shit, mate. <laughs> Levi, we got uh, one more thing I'm going to do before we go. Uh, we're going to show you our money glitch. So, yeah, let's do it, baby. Um... It's very easy uh, for you PS4 players. It's actually more easier for you to do it. No offense, but because PS4 is a bit the hardware on the PS4 is a bit more slow compared to the PS5, so it's more easier to pull off this uh, thing I'm gonna do. But it's like a money glitch, really easy. Fuck me, easy, mate. Honestly, it is a time money glitch, but I'm not gonna have time. It's actually quite easy. So basically, first of all, what you need to do is go on your settings and basically. Go down to, uh, where is it called? Fuck me, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Go to accessibility and then display and sound. If you have high contrast on, you've got to turn that shit off because you need to see the game really well whilst you're on the little menu. So just turn that shit off. You don't need that on anymore. So the reason why is because basically when you're going to be doing the glitch, you had to press the PlayStation button and then you'll be able to see the game easier, innit? So if you had high contrast on, It'll make it harder to see the game in the background. Just let you know, yeah, Fortnite Reload just came out. Yeah, it's fucking awful, mate. Honestly, I don't like it. I hate it, mate. But <laughs> so basically, all you had to basically do... I'll show you. All right, so basically, I'm going to probably swap out this car for one of my favorite cars. Yo, can people stop coming online? Jesus Christ. Make up your bloody mind. All right, so I'm going to use this car. Alright, so now you need to be in daytime. You need to go daytime. Let me tell you why, alright? Because only in daytime, you can buy... You, that's the only time you can buy cars. Some reason in nighttime, you can't buy cars. But for some reason, GTA 5, you can buy cars anytime you want. Day or night. But in this game, it's only daytime, for some reason. But he's, he's, um, so basically, we're gonna... This, God damn, mate. I'm not gonna lie. This game would look so good in 60 FPS for consoles. I know PC players get it. But sadly, consoles don't, even on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. But yeah, so basically, all you had to do is make your way over to the dealership. Yeah, Simeon's dealership. What am I talking about? I've lost my mind. Oh, I'm not. I'm not actually joking around. This is actually a real glitch. I'm not joking. So you enter the dealership, and just to let you know, if you are not used to this glitch, I recommend just buying a cheap vehicle and just practicing. But because I've done it many times, I'm just going to go for the most expensive option. <laughs> so look at my money. One, 101 mil. Like, that's mad, isn't it? Alright, come on. It's taking ages. Jesus Christ. Obviously, because I'm in a level 50 crew, I can get this car. Damn it. Jesus Christ. That car looks so nice. Anyways, get this car, buy it, and then uh, I think uh, yeah, send it to garage. Don't use it because you want your you don't you don't want that to be the car you're driving when you get back in because you want that car you bought to be on like the background of all the other cars that are there. If you do uh, have the have it so it shows your crew cars like the players in your crews to cars, then turn that off because you need that off because it won't work. Alright, let's do this, baby. Woohoo! Okay, let's get back in the garage. Okay, so... So basically, all you need to do... Got a new ride. What do you mean, new ride? I've had this for so long. Jesus Christ. Fuck me. But anyways, uh, so basically, you just basically need to make sure to do this. So, in this, so in the, close, the closest car to the car you're driving, you need to swap that out for the car you brought. Alright, so we need to find the car. It's not this car. Let me find it. Is it this car? Well, let me check. So I feel I do remember I had like two of these. So I'm just making sure I'm not. Yeah, I did, yeah. Actually, no, I only have one. I was just. I haven't played this game in a while. Just letting you know that car, this car right here. I absolutely love this car. I got this car on G05 with F1 tires. Feel free to add me if you want this car on F1 tires and on G05 only on the PS5 version. I'm sorry for you, PS4 players. But, anyways. We're gonna use, we're gonna, we have to select this car. This car has to be in this position right here. So basically, the reason why is because I'll show you. So basically, what you need to do, you need to hover over the sell car. And then when you hover over sell car, you hold on the PlayStation button, go to settings, then go to network, and then go to settings again, do the settings, and then go to connect to internet and turn that shit off. You don't need that on. 
But I'm just going to let you know, this is actually more easier if you're like using like mobile data or thing where you're sharing your mobile data in Wi-Fi to like your console because you need to just turn that shit off by just clicking it on your phone. So press OK, press sell car, press yes. And then once you've done, done it, back out once, press pause, then hover to go online. Okay, so this bit is where you have to do the timing, right? All right, so basically, once you hover over, go online, turn back on the Wi-Fi. And then, basically, once you turn back on the Wi-Fi, just wait a bit, because he'll just say, sorry, you can, we couldn't connect back in. But uh, you just had to give it a bit of time. So this is the reason why I said uh, keep the, inc the high contrast setting off, because you, this is the part where you need to make sure to quit off the game as quick as possible. So because, look, I can see the game really good now. Just guys, just remember, don't go on the home ba home menu. You just go over to Switcher, press on Need to be Heat, and close game. Do it that way because you need to be on the game to uh, close it. Because if you're off the game, you won't know what's going on. So basically, you when you press go online, it will show two bars. But once the bottom bar gets halfway, you need to close close off the game really quickly. So I'll show you. you ready? I'm hoping I can get this right because it will be embarrassing if I get this wrong. I haven't done this in a while. Um, so, yeah, let's do this. Oh, God, I'm freaking out right now. All right. So, it's already on. Uh, yeah, so basically, yep. Do that. Switch. Okay, once it gets on uh, the bar. Wait, sir. Yep, close game. Close game. I did it. I did it. I think I did it. Okay. So, I closed the game. An app or app, even though it's a game. But if you you go back on it. And if you've done it right, when you get onto the bit where, like, you see, like, two cars, like, drifting around a car, uh, like, on the road, you, it should say, it should come up with, like, an error saying, sorry, you didn't do it right. So, yeah. I mean, I get it right. Jesus Christ. It kind of scares me sometimes, actually. Because you're doing a video, isn't it? and if you don't get it wrong, it's so embarrassing. Oh, yeah, you press continue. Load and save game. Also, it looks all right for now, but if it comes up with this error, it means you've done it right, mate. All right, let's see, let's see. Okay, established connection. Let's go, baby! I did it right, you see that? Okay, so basically, what happens now, what if you... Oh my god. Yo, I have no friends, so I can't form parties, mate. Oh yeah, so basically, all you have to do, basically, uh, if you want to... So, don't just... Go, don't press play online or play solo. Just go on the, just hold the PlayStation button and then go to network, turn it off, and then turn it back on. And basically by doing that, the game keeps on thinking that you have sold the vehicle. So basically, when you press go online, look, you see my money? You see my money, ready? See that shit, look. Yo, I just got one mil for doing jack shit. Yo, look at that. See that? And just keep re re rinse and repeating it. Look. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Look, ready? Look. Okay, so press go online. Ready for this shit? Ready for this shit. Look. Look at that! I got another one mil, baby. Look, can you see that? I didn't do shit. And then, guys, once you're done with... Uh, once you're happy with the money you got... Just press play online or play solo. So once you've done that, um, just play play solo. Just do it, and then it'll save you money. Even if you if you don't press solo or play online, and you just quit off the game, it'll still save you money. So don't feel afraid to have to play solo or play online. Then once you're just loading the game, you have what the have all the money you glitched, and you, the car will be gone. But that'd be good anyway, because why do you need that car anyway? Like it's just a piece of shit. But nah, it's not actually a piece of shit because it's a Ferrari. Because who wouldn't want a Ferrari these days, innit? But these ways, uh, yeah, that's it for the money glitch. This I'm not gonna lie, this New Speed game probably had the, has the best money glitch. I know New Speed Payback has a money glitch and New Speed Unbound, but this game, New Speed Heat, has probably the best money glitch out of the other two New Speed games. I know New Speed for us 15. I don't think there's any money glitch on that. You know, it's sad though because the money. A uh, grind is actually really shit on that game because it's quite low compared to New Speed Heat. Yeah, I don't care about the story. <laughs> and if you see right there, look, my money's saved, so it's absolutely fine. And yeah, that's really it for today's video. Hope you guys do enjoy that video. Um, yeah, I wanted to combine an XP method and a, and a money glitch in the same video just so you guys can, you know, just see and watch and just try for yourselves. Another friend came online. Just let you know, yeah. Um, if you do play on PS4, it's actually a bit more easier, like I said back in the video, because uh, with you PlayStation 4 players, you when you hold the PlayStation button, it comes up with the menu, doesn't it? And then basically you can close the application 
But the way how we have to close it, we had to go down to the switcher and click on these three heat and close game like that. So yeah, um, so because with with PS4, when you hold the PlayStation button, it comes up the menu. But when you uh, um, when you on PS5, when you hold it, it like goes off the thing, go goes on the home menu. But on PS4, when you hold the uh, uh, place but I think comes up the menu so it's just fucking weird I think I just freaking I don't know what I did there I think I was just rambling I don't know why I'm rambling so much yeah these are my mates if you want to add them go ahead um so basically he's been your boy Solus on it uh I'm gonna probably put this on TikTok uh or YouTube one of them actually both actually why not hope you guys do enjoy been your boy Solus on it and peace <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see ya.